Did you know how blended refrigerant behavior is defined? In the following minutes, we will discuss zerotropic and azeotropic refrigerant blends, plus the definition of glide and fractionation. Zerotropic blends are a mixture of two or more components. The components of this refrigerant have different boiling or bubble points. An example of a zerotropic blend is any 400 series refrigerant. For example, R449A, which is a blend of R32, R125, R1234YF and R134A. An azeotropic refrigerant is a mixture of two or more components that boil at the same temperature. The components in this type of refrigerant will evaporate and condense together as one. An example of an azeotropic refrigerant is R513A, which is a blend of R1234YF and R134A. In this case, there is no refrigerant glide to worry about, but you may ask, what is a refrigerant glide? Glide is the difference between the boiling point of the most volatile component compared to the least volatile component within the refrigerant blend. For example, R449A at one bar has a dew point, that's a point of condensation, of 45.7 degrees Celsius, and a bubble point, that's the point of evaporation, of 40 degrees Celsius. This means that this particular zeotropic blend would have approximately 5.7 K of glide. In this connection, there is one additional point to consider, and this is fractionation. Let's continue using R449A, and let's say the bottle is still at a room temperature. Each component of this refrigerant blend will boil off at different temperature, separating from the liquid mixture. The vapor of each refrigerant would occupy its own space above the liquid. This is known as fractionation. Because these components have different properties, there may be more of one gas at the top of the refrigerant bottle than the other. This is why it is important to chance this type of refrigerant as liquid to ensure the system receives the full blend. It is recommended, however, that this type of refrigerant is splashed into the system to avoid the possibility of liquid entering the compressor, damaging that compressor.